In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Today, as we begin another month, May, May 1st, we celebrate St. Joseph, the worker. We ask the Lord to be merciful to us for the times we have not been busy about the Lord's work, when we have been concerned about ourselves and we have fallen into sin. Therefore, let us seek the Lord's mercy and compassion. And let us begin by having the courage to say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, creator of all things, who laid down for the human race the law of work, graciously grant that by the example of St. Joseph and under his patronage, we may complete the works you have set before us and attain the rewards you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. God said, Let us make men in our image after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and the cattle, and over all the wild animals, and all the creatures that crow on the ground. God created man in his image, in the divine image he created him, male and female he created them. God blessed them, saying, Be fertile and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birth of the air, and all the living things that moved on the earth. God also said, See, I give you every seed-bearing plant all over the earth, and every tree that has seed-bearing fruit on it to be your food, and to all the animals of the land, all the birds of the earth, and all the living creatures that crawl on the ground. I give all the green plants for food. And so it happened. God looked at everything he had made, and he found it very good. Evening came, and morning followed the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth and all the array were completed since on the seventh day God was finished with the work he had been doing. God rested on the seventh day from all the work he had undertaken. So God blessed the seventh day and made it holy because on it he rested from all the work he had done in creation. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Lord, Lord give, give success, success to, to the work, work of, of our, our hands. hands. Before the mountains were begotten, and the earth and the world were brought forth, from everlasting to everlasting you are God. Lord, Lord, give success, success to the work, work of, of our hands. hands. You turn men back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, 
for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch of a denied. Lord, Lord give, give success, success to, to the, the work, work of, of our, our hands. hands. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, our long. Have pity on your servants. Lord, Lord give, give success, success to the work, work of your hands. hands. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we shout for joy and gladness all our days. Let your work be seen by your servants and your glory by their children. Lord, Lord give, give success, success to the work of our hands. hands. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Blessed be the Lord, day by day, God our salvation who bears our burdens. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus came to his native place and taught the people in their synagogue. They were astonished and said, where did this man get such wisdom and mighty deeds? Is he not the carpenter's son? Is not his mother named Mary and his brothers James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? Are not his sisters all with us? Where did this man get all this? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his native place and in his own house. And he did not work many mighty deeds there because of their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As I said at the very beginning of Mass, today we celebrate St. Joseph the Worker. It's a memorial for today, May 1st. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it was in response to uh, communism and May 1st was uh, a big celebration for Russia uh, after communism took over. And it reminds us of the dignity of work, as we even hear in our first reading from the book of Genesis. God is not just sitting up there in heaven taking his ease. God is constantly at work in the world. From the very beginning of creation, God has always been at work in our lives, you know, the work of love is always outpouring. Love is never uh, stagnant. Love is always giving of itself. It's always at work in our lives. Love is not an adjective. Love is, an ad is, a, is a verb. It's an action word. Yes, the Lord does take his rest on the, on the seventh day, but the Lord is constantly at work in our lives. And it reminds us that we are made in God's image and likeness, and in such, we need to be at work in our life and in the life of God. How do we do that? By continuing the Lord's work. You know, today, if you were reading uh, the readings for today, you would have heard from the Acts of the Apostles, the call of Saul when he was knocked to the ground by the bright light and the voice of Jesus saying, why are you persecuting me? And after a number of days being blinded, when he received his sight, instead of being Saul and persecuting Christians and those who followed Christ and his law of love, his work of love, immediately we're told that he gets up and he begins to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ. It reminds us that no matter what type of life we lead, the Lord is calling us to something better. Where he is calling us to work in the vineyard of the Lord for the greater good of other people. We think about the people today who are the essential workers. It's not the high and the mighty. We've come to find out it's the people that are in the grocery store. It's those who are in health care. It's those who serve us every day. The number of various essential workers. And what are they doing? Their work is always for the other, for the love of the other. Today, take some time 
reflect upon how God has been at work in your life in so many varied and beautiful ways. And then get busy about the Lord's work in your life. Share the gospel message today. In this month of Mary, we ask our Blessed Mother to intercede for us as we present our petitions to our Lord, that all of us may be nourished by and transformed by Christ in the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer, that the word of God may put an end to violence in the name of religion between nations and peoples. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer that persecuted Christians throughout the world may be protected by God within their homes and their churches. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have been coming into the church, may they be con continue to be led by Jesus into deeper communion with him this Easter season. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our deceased loved ones. May they feast forever with Christ at his heavenly banquet. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for all those in health care, all those who are out in the world during this pandemic to give us the very basic necessities of life. Let us pray to the Lord. God, our Father of mercy and love, hear and answer these prayers and all the prayers of those who have come to you in humility and love. For we ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our almighty Father. And may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, font of all mercy, look upon our offerings, which we bring before your majesty in commemoration of St. Joseph, and mercifully grant that the gifts we offer may become the means of protection for those who call upon you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, on the commemoration of St. Joseph, to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as spouse to the Virgin Mother of God and set as a wise and fruitful servant in charge of your household, to watch like a father of your only begotten son who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim, holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, he gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of eternal salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Archbishop, and all the clergy, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her beloved spouse, the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now, at the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your divine will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Whatever that you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord, giving thanks to God through him. Hallelujah.
For those who cannot receive communion at this time, I offer you this prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having fed upon heavenly delights, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that by St. Joseph's example, cherishing in our hearts the signs of your love, we may ever enjoy the fruit of perpetual peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Of course, today is the beginning of May, and as we heard in our uh, prayer for the prayer of the faithful, we begin the month of Mary, one of two months we celebrate for the Blessed Mother, May and October. During this month of May, maybe it might be good to at least say a decade of the rosary once a day, if not the entire rosary. Also today, I believe at 12 noon, the bishops of Canada and the United States will consecrate our countries to the Blessed Mother once again, seeking her intercession in our lives. During this time of pandemic, of uncertainty, and we don't know what's going to happen with the future, uh, with our lives, how it will change, you know, it is good to remember our faith. It is our faith that has brought us 2,000 years of security and love. It's good for us to turn to our faith and our devotions at this time. Maybe tune in on the different websites where you will see the consecration taking place at noon today. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.